Richard Semsker was a wonderful guy. I met him about um, seven months before he died. At that time, he had just had a terrible diagnosis that the um, mole on his lower back, which had been there for many years, and which um, finally the dermatologist said, you know, we got to take this thing off of you, although they'd been monitoring it for many years. Um, it turned out to be melanoma, a very aggressive uh, form of uh, cancer. That was many months before I met him, but when I met him, and this is where uh, the real tragedy developed, was when he discovered one day, uh, it, it was just a funny thing, he couldn't talk. Uh, he, just for a couple hours, he, he lost the ability to talk, so he went in and got a brain scan, and it turned out that he, his brain was riddled with cancer from this melanoma traveling from his lower back through his bloodstream up into his brain. But we put together a legal case for him because we found out that in his records that his internist had, there was a letter from the dermatologist eight years previously. Well, the internist just stuck that in his file and the patient never found out about it. And then, you know, he went back to the, both the dermatologist and the internist multiple times and nobody paid attention to this thing on his lower back. And he wound up dying a really hideous, painful, and totally unnecessary death. But we were able to bring the case to the jury uh, for his widow, Barbara, and for um, his girls. He had twin 18-year-old daughters. And the jury um, got it. They understood that this was a horrible injury. It destroyed this family, a uh, loving husband and father. And they uh, paid a very significant um, a verdict. Uh, to the family to compensate them for their grief and loss and, um, and their sorrow.